we are gathered here for only one purpose, to recognize these young men and women of the 12th graduating class of our academy. All these moments have set you up to flourish. The work you've done to reach this moment is indispensable and it has not gone unnoticed. I want to personally thank you and thank you on behalf of your teachers. Class of 2023, I love you all so much and I know that you can flourish in mathematics or whatever else you pick and choose. As we continue to walk our individual paths in life, each mistake we make, no matter how grave, can change us for the better if we allow it to. It pushes us down that path called life. So I encourage you, class of 2023, smile at failure, wink at disappointment, and laugh at adversity. We were all made for greatness. So let us go forth and let us change the world one mistake at a time. In a complex and chaotic world, listening is the bridge that paves the way to more robust solutions to our challenges and a brighter future. As we graduate and move on to the next chapter of our lives, I encourage each one of you to never stop listening well. Stay curious rather than certain. I leave you with this challenge. Who will you listen to today? The inconsistency of change is exactly why it is consistent. The discomfort and the change that we are facing is the most comfortable thing we have. In the end, change is the most reliable friend we will ever have. No matter what we do, it always shows up for us. So, instead of fearing what lies ahead of us, let's thank our dear friend for the opportunities that it will provide. Arte has shown us how to live deeply. Our education and community are devoid of superficiality. We are simply students growing our relationship with truth, beauty, and goodness. Now we are leaving Arte, and I hope that no one loses the mindset that they have gained here. To again quote one of my noble peers, what good is knowing what is best if you do not achieve what is best? I believe in you all. Keep this time that we have had together in your memory and you will accomplish great things. Regardless of how you used your time here at Arate, it is possible you feel that you lived every moment to its fullest. Or maybe you wonder if you didn't engage the way you wanted and would do it differently. I hope that you use these reflections, both the ways in which you made the most and the ways you would change it as a call to fully engage, to be present, and to choose how you will experience and make the most of this next part of your journey. I present to you the graduates of 2023.